Hello there, welcome to my Vision News breaking news from the Mahara region where military claims everything is back to normal. Government claims groups uh, in the Mahara region, armed um, groups have been defeated, life is back to normal. But uh, life isn't back to normal. The groups which uh, uh, the government claims have been defeated, uh, have their capabilities almost intact. The groups have some uh, have suffered some losses in the past uh, few weeks due to uh, dozens of dawn strikes and air strikes. But it seems that Fano groups are still a force to reckon with in the Amhara region. A major development from North Shore zone of the Amhara region. Since yesterday, I've been receiving reports about uh, fighting in different parts of the North Shore zone of the Amhara region. North Shore zone is very strategic because uh, North Shore zone shares border with Oromia and uh, Fano fighters hope that one day they'll be able to reach Addis Ababa from North Shore. I think shortest route to Addis Ababa from Amhara would be from North Shore zone of the Amhara region. Fano fighters have been trying to make inroads into Oromia too from North Shore uh, Amhara. They managed to enter North Shore Oromia, East Shore Oromia, and uh, they tried to move towards uh, Oromia territories. Obviously, they have support from locals too, local Amharas in uh, Oromia, but so far, fighting is mainly in North Shore zone of the uh, Amhara region. Where Fano fighters have entered a major city today, I have been able to confirm. Several news sources reported that a few hours ago. I did not want to break this news. Uh, I think uh, that we should wait for confirmation because sometimes a few Fano fighters enter a town or city and uh, people start sharing breaking news as if the town or city has come under Fano control. So I. Uh, contacted people to get information about full operation. What happened? Uh, how did Fano fighters manage to enter this town? Are they in control? Where is ENDF? Why did ENDF retreat from this major town? I've received now complete details of this operation by Fano fighters, which happened in Debre Birhan. Debre Birhan is the main city in North Shore zone of the Amhara region. And uh, a few months ago, when Fano fighters captured all or uh, most of major cities in the Amhara region, uh, Sh uh, North Shoah's uh, Debre Birhan was one of those cities. Fano fighters back then captured Gondar, uh, they captured the Lalibala, Shore Orbit, North Shoah, Debre, uh, uh, Debre Birhan, Debre Morkos. And then we saw that state of emergency was announced and Military launched a full scale ground operation followed by air campaign. And Fano fighters then retreated from Debre Birhan. This is their second entry in Debre Birhan. This is their first entry in Debre Birhan after the imposition of state of emergency. State of emergency was imposed around five months ago. This is their first entry into Debre Birhan in the last five months. And uh, we must not forget that their first entry into Shore Orbit uh, in the last five months also happened a few days ago. I had a video on that. Fano fighters entered Shore Orbit. They were seen. Shore Orbit is also in North Shore zone of the Amhara region. So their first entry in both North, in both Shore Orbit and Debre Birhan in the last five months happened uh, within the last uh, one week or so. Question How did Fano fighters manage to enter Debre Birhan? Because Debre Birhan is very strategic. It is along the main road, the road which connects Addis Ababa, Oromia with the Dasi, Volo. Uh, and if Fano fighters are in Debre Birhan, it means road is closed. It means that uh, Oromia to Dasi road is closed. No need to get uh, uh, information from uh, the area. If Debre Birhan is under Fano, it means main road is closed. How did Fano fighters manage to enter Debre Birhan? Well, it was uh, a multi pronged operation in Debre Birhan. By the way, we heard yesterday about fighting close to Debre Birhan. I got reports about fighting in Debre Birhan. It started two days ago, but I got information yesterday. But yesterday, Fano fighters were not in Debre Birhan. 
but they were pushing towards Debre Birhan. They managed to end Debre Birhan because they entered Debre Birhan from multiple directions. Uh, first point, they entered from multiple directions. Second point, very important point is that they got support from locals in Debre Birhan. I won't say that entire Debre Birhan stood behind Fano fighters, but Fano uh, had sleeper cells in Debre Birhan. And I wouldn't be surprised if I came to know that they have sleeper cells in all the major cities of the Mohara region. People support Fano in large numbers. Reportedly, when Fano fighters entered Debre Birhan, the local sleeper cells uh, became active and ENDF uh, found itself in a very difficult position. Attacks from inside and outside. That is why Ethiopian military had to withdraw from Debre Birhan. We have been able to confirm that uh, this morning, Fano fighters were seen in Debre Birhan, main city, uh, around 100 kilometers away from Addis Ababa, Ethiopian capital, while military retweeted. Military obviously uh, will not sit idle. We have been seeing this pattern that Fano fighters enter big town cities. There, they attack police stations, prisons, government buildings. They free prisoners, they free Fano comrades, they get supplies, they get weapons. Military, meanwhile, waits for reinforcements. Re reinforcements arrive. Military launches counteroffensives and Fano fighters retreat. Same will happen here too, I think. Uh, that in coming hours, you could hear about Fano's retreat or withdrawal from Debre Birhan. It wouldn't be surprising. But their entry is important. Their entry in Debre Birhan shows that they are there. They are in a position to enter major cities in the Amhara region, firstly. Secondly, uh, now the government should tell the people. The Mexican Tirone, Abebe, uh, and others, Abebe Janel, and others should tell the people. They were claiming a few days ago that everything back to normal, Fano groups being defeated, extremist elements being uh, decimated. But these Fano groups are in a position to enter all big town cities of the Amhara region. Whenever they want to, they enter these town cities. A few days ago, uh, military launched an operation uh, to uh, remove Fano from Rasa, which is the stronghold in North Shore Zone, close to Shore Orbit. Uh, the military faced a counter-offensive. Fano fighters uh, pushed from Rasa towards Shore Orbit, and they entered Shore Orbit. And now they have entered North Shore Zone of the Amhara region. Now, not just in uh, North Shoah's uh, uh, Debre Birhan, city of Damhari, they have entered Debre Birhan. Not just in Debre Birhan, in the last two days, they have captured some other places too in North Shoah zone, reportedly. Uh, Enewari is uh, one of uh, main towns in North Shoah zone. Enewari town, Joro Ovoreda. And uh, an hour ago, I got confirmation from this area that Enewari in North Shore is also under Fano control. It's agricultural center of North Shore, you can say, uh, strategic in terms of its agricultural value. Uh, Fano fighters already have presence in the rural areas, countryside uh, areas of the North Shore zone of Amhara region. Military trying to dislodge them from countryside, but they are there. They have been trying uh, to advance towards town cities, but after the imposition of state of emergency, they were pushed away from the main road from Shorobit, uh, Debre Birhan, Dasi, uh, Dis Ababa Road. But this development indicates that Fano fighters still are in opposition carry out major attacks in major cities of the Amhara region. Uh, we are in touch with people. We'll try to uh, give you an update once Fano fighters retreat or once military launches an operation. Military will definitely launch an operation because uh, Debre Berhan is very strategic. It is along the main road. If Fano fighters remain uh, in position in Debre Berhan, it means that the main road will remain cut off. And military claims that all roads, main roads are open. That is what military claimed, by the way, a few days ago, that all main arteries and roads in the Maha region are open uh, and uh, there are no road blockages. 
So I disagreed with that back then. I said that the main roads leading uh, to Gajam from Oromia were blocked. The main roads in Gondar, South Gondar were blocked too. Now this main road uh, blocked as well. Uh, local are confirming that too. On some YouTube channels, locals have been interviewed and they have confirmed that Panu fighters are in Shorabit. Military has withdrawn, not sure of it, Debre Birhan. Military has withdrawn from Debre Birhan reportedly, but a counteroffensive is definitely going to be launched in coming hours. Thank you for watching.